<laughs> give me a hand, give me a hand. Noah is a feature-length film just completed by two Waltham kids barely in their 20s. It's a feature-length film set in an alternate present-day America in which slavery was never abolished. And it follows an escaped slave named Noah as he tries to flee the country and reach this rumored freedom refuge in Canada. 22-year-old Anthony Devaney is a Waltham native and recent New York Film Academy graduate. He was the screenwriter, editor, director of photography, and executive producer. The film was shot digitally with a handheld Canon HD camera and edited on a souped-up MacBook Pro laptop. Noah! The story follows a slave named Noah as he is sold, escapes, and flees along a Latter-day Underground Railroad, encountering sympathizers, rednecks, and police along the way. Anthony said that he wanted to make a thought-provoking drama about slavery, but without the costs associated with a period piece. Noah will be screened for the first time at a Belmont cinema this week. James Devaney is Anthony's younger brother and a senior at Westfield State majoring in video production. I really just love film. Uh, Anthony kind of got me into it late, late in high school. The two brothers formed a production company in Waltham called Identical Films and spent roughly $15,000 of their own cash on the film, which runs an hour and 45 minutes. James said the biggest challenge was scouting locations, but they lucked out in casting 26-year-old Andy Jasmine for the lead. Prove that you're from the refuge. We just knew we had a great feeling about him, and he was completely devoted to the project, even donated some money for us to help filming more of it, but he was, he was just really a blessing. We were so lucky we had him. Like Anthony, James wore many hats on the production, including a turn in front of the camera under his brother's direction. What do you think they're doing out here? It, could, it was a little difficult at times, but I let him direct me. The Devonies were assisted by Andrew Johnson, a friend of James's from college who had appeared in a handful of Hollywood films as an extra. It was an eye-opener. It was interesting. You know, I kind of felt like I wasted uh, money on my college degree. I got a lot of hands-on experience. Um, I got to see firsthand how an independent movie is made. For a film with a crew of three and a cast of four principal actors and 50-odd others, Noah has a professional gloss. The result of 18-hour days, seven days a week for four months. You go into it, you don't know what to expect because we didn't know what it was going to be like, but then it turned into that was our lives. Like for an entire summer, this past summer, literally every day was devoted to the film. Unlike most low-budget features, which tend to be set indoors, the filmmakers used a range of free outdoor locations around the state, including the Payne Estate in Waltham. This is a beautiful forest and... The good part about it was there's a, you can go to one half of the forest and it'll look completely different from the other half. So you can use the same location but make it look like completely different areas in the country. Though now penniless, the Devonies are submitting the film to festivals and spreading the word using social media. Most important is uh, the Cannes Independent Film Festival, which we're looking to get into for January. And then uh, Sundance is in September, so we have a few months until that one. So what's next? The filmmaker said Los Angeles beckons, but for now Anthony plans to work on a drama script with a strong female lead while James sets his mind to a drama comedy. Like once we get to a certain point, we'll, help, we'll read each other's, but it's a really good system where we help each other out on our scripts. It was a great experience, um, and I, this is definitely what I want to do with my life. For Waltham News Watch, this is Chris Wangler.